Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And uh, somebody's already finished the project, but they were having trouble at first. And then she, I, uh, on Facebook, and I messaged her, and she said, "Well, I've already got it figured out. So we'll send it to me, so I can show other people how to do it, and maybe save her some steps." So this is all. It's a group of two objects, and when you group it, or when you click on it, you see there's no well tools. So you need to go to object and ungroup it and immediately you can see your boundary tool. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor on, let's see how big this is, almost four inches, so let's set it on five. And let's take this and let's create a boundary and then let's move it out of the way. It doesn't matter that it took away the center of that. Then go up to effects, contour, and let's contour to the outside with rounded corners a half of an inch and hit apply. Now go up to object, break contour apart and grab your contour and put it back. Now I'm a little bit bigger than hers, but you can always change that after you look at it. Now we could contour to the inside, let's say 0.1 and just make it a little bit smaller. Go up to object, Break contour apart, click on the outside contour, and delete it. Now you want to make sure this is a hairline. I'm using her file, so we want a hairline, and I would turn it to red. She's got percentage of gray. That way you know it's a cut line. Now, one just warning, word of note, she's cutting this out for children to paint during this uh, situation where they're all at home, you don't know that this drawing doesn't have any hairlines in it. So there's one way you could check. Let's nudge that out of the way and select it all. And let's left click. And you can see that there's, there's no outline, it's all fill. So we can put the fill back, just back up. Now we don't know about the text but we can click on the text and left click the field and see there is a 200 point line, but it's not a hairline, so it will not cut out. Now there is a hairline, but you just need to move it or uh, undo tool and just undo that till you get that back and then just move your hairline back. So just a few easy steps. Just remember when you do that to have rounded corners. Let's just do that real quick to show you what it would look like if you don't use rounded corners. Let's do this whole thing again. Put a boundary, move it out of the way. This time we're gonna go to the outside, that 0.5, but we're gonna use square corners. It's really pretty close, it just, it's, it's not because it, like we've got that point right there that point probably isn't in the other one. So let's back up. If you'll, if you'll look at that point right there, it's off the point off the, the uh, animal's foot. Let's just back up here and see that point's not there. So you get a more rounded surface, especially for a child to cut out and paint it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit.